finished an hour of weight training. Let's go get some groceries at Trader Joe's. show you a little mini Trader Joe's haul. First of all, I'm really excited. I got this celery juice. I wanna start juicing it myself. I was just shocked by how much vitamin K is in this, but pay attention to the amount of potassium. Just look at that, 790 milligrams. That is absolutely outstanding in the vitamin K content. Because of the amount of potassium, this makes me want to start juicing my own celery because I did not realize just how much potassium is really in it. So. That is amazing, so I picked that up. Very refreshing, so rich in minerals. And then fruit. Fruit, um, specifically berries, are very high in fiber, and this is one of the easiest ways that you can hit enough fiber daily, is by eating berries. So frozen berries, obviously I love just normal, you know, raspberries thrown on top of some yogurt. And then I also picked up some blackberries, so blackberries, raspberries, and then I made the best chicken that I've ever made. It was so good, I just threw it together. The other week and it was outstanding and when I say threw it together I literally mean threw it together I had no recipe I was just having fun and cooking and it turned out outstanding so I picked up some fresh basil for that and then some tomatoes and then this isn't a part of the recipe but I just got some chives for, to make some salads and then of course I got the chicken for tonight's dinner and then of course the flowers as you saw. So we are gonna spend the rest of the day in the kitchen, meal prepping and just making some delicious nourishing recipes for spring. I have a lot of celery that I need to use up. So I'm actually gonna make some celery juice. I am all for anything that has a ton of potassium in it. So this is like the perfect thing though to juice and keep in your fridge for this time of year because it's so mineral rich. It's extremely easy to put it through the juicer. There's nothing else that you need to add to it and it is incredibly hydrating. So we're gonna start off with that and then we're gonna get into some of the other recipes I'm really excited because look what I'm gonna make finally I seriously have not even tried this yet so we're finally gonna try out the green banana pasta this is gluten-free and look at there's so much fiber in there so there's four grams of fiber in one serving and then there's also the potassium content is insane there's 3,290 milligrams in the whole thing but per serving there is 1,040 milligrams, which is insane. So these recipes are gonna be nice and mineral rich. So obviously this isn't much of a recipe, but I think it's a good reminder though that, you know, it can be really, really simple and you can just use something as simple as celery juice to really rehydrate you and provide your cells and your body with so many nutrients. And it's so simple. It's not complicated and it's probably the, the least amount of, it's probably the least complicated, not even a recipe, but just thing that you could make. But I'm definitely gonna be keeping this stocked in my fridge for this spring and even summer. Cup of frozen blueberries, add a half of a banana. You can do a frozen banana if you have one, it'll make it even more thick and creamy. Half a banana, and then you're gonna do one frozen acai pack from Trader Joe's. You can get it really anywhere, it's like an acai smoothie. It is an acai smoothie, but you know, usually you think of an acai bowl, acai smoothie, so good. Chocolate protein, this is optional. You don't have to add protein, but I always love adding some protein into my smoothies. Sneak in a little extra protein. So one scoop of my favorite chocolate protein, so good. It's grass-fed beef, free from gluten, dairy, whey, soy, hormones, and antibiotics. It is my favorite protein of all time. So chocolate scoop. Also going to add some more chocolate. I love adding a little bit of cacao, or you could do cocoa. Do like a rounded teaspoon of that. My armor colostrum, favorite of all time. Where's my little scooper? I just ran out of my other one. I gotta find the scoop, you know, when you open a fresh jar. How many jars have I gone through of this at this point? It is literally the best thing in the whole world. Since this is a bioactive whole food, you really can customize your scoops. I'm gonna do three scoops. Three scoops is like my sweet spot, and I kinda do a little rounded scoop <laughs> just to get some extra in there. So three scoops of your armor colostrum, and then we're gonna add uh, probably like I ran out of milk. Of course I ran out of milk. You usually would want to do milk, but I'm going to mix some water and heavy cream <laughs> just to, you know, 
make some milk. Usually I would add like half a cup of milk, but I literally ran out of milk and I need to go to the grocery store. So do as I say, not as I do. It's gonna be delicious. And it's so thick and perfect. I'm telling you that is probably like the greatest smoothie of all time. The ratios, everything, it's so flavorful. That is a 10 out of 10. That is so perfect. The acai and the chocolate, it's so rich. It's so creamy. It's so good. I'm going to be drinking this all spring and summer and for the rest of my life. I cannot even explain with my words how good this is. It is so unbelievably good. And not is it just absolutely delicious because who, you know you want to drink like a yummy good smoothie. And if there's one thing I could say, a, a mistake that I made for many, many years with my own health is that I focused for so long on the organ system. So like my hormones, I was told you're gonna have to be on thyroid medication for the rest of your life. And for me, I just thought, well, my hormones are just messed up. And I, I guess that I have to be on, you know, thyroid medication for the rest of my life. And hearing that, hearing that made me think that I had a problem with my hormones. And what I didn't realize for so many years is that if I would have focused on cells. And let me just put it this way. The more I focused on my hormones, the more frustrating it really became. I really never got anywhere when I did that, I should say. I never made progress with my hormones by focusing on my hormones. I never made progress with my thyroid by focusing on the thyroid and trying to fix my thyroid. Same thing with my progesterone, being told that I had the lowest progesterone that doctors had ever seen, ever, by multiple different doctors. This could literally make me cry because, you know, to see the numbers that I have today, and this is why I'm so passionate about sharing recipes and sharing really just my story because I just want you to have hope that if you're focusing on your hormones, on your thyroid, on your progesterone, whatever it is, and you are frustrated because you're not seeing changes and you're not feeling any different, something that, something that just completely changed my entire life. When I stopped chasing the hormones and actually focused on this one thing, this one thing, it changed everything. And that one thing is the cells, is getting the cells what they need. Whether it's our thyroid cells, whether it's our gut cells, whatever cell, we are ultimately made up of cells. Healthy cells make healthy tissues, make healthy organs. And then those organs make up the organ system, you know, the thyroid, the endocrine system, our, our, our hormone, our thyroid, you know, our progesterone and estrogen and healthy organ systems make a healthy organism. And so when we're focused just on the, on the hormones, on the thyroid, on whatever it is, we're missing where it first came from, which is the cells. It makes everything so much more clear because you're, you're thinking, okay, now, now that I'm focusing on the cells, what do my cells need? There's really two main things that I'll put the cells need. The cells need nutrients and they need protection. And here's the thing. There are so many things that our body is constantly having to deal with all of the time. There's glyphosate, there's pesticide, there's herbicides. There's so many things. I cannot tell you the research studies that I've read on, on these toxins affecting our thyroid health that has nothing to do with, you know, fixing the thyroid that has. And, and so that's the thing, you know, if we're being exposed to these things which we are being exposed to them and it's affecting our thyroid function it's not the thyroid that is the issue it's the it's strengthening our body to protect itself against those things so that the thyroid is then not affected so that's the thing so cells need protection and they need nutrients we want to support our barriers and we want to provide nutrients and the funny thing is is that we actually can support barriers by providing the barriers with nutrients that is why one of my favorite things of all time that I add into all of my smoothies is armor colostrum. So this is not only providing barrier support because that is what it does. It strengthens the barrier. So ultimately, if we want to have healthy hormones, we need to be having healthy cells. And that's the thing is that this does both of those things. It provides barrier support and it provides nourishment on a cellular level. It fuels cellular health. And that is why when I started taking this, I saw such a dramatic transformation in my health. When I focused on my gut health and I started focusing on that instead of my thyroid and I stopped chasing my thyroid and I started strengthening my barriers and I started fueling cellular health. And that's the thing, your thyroid, so much of our thyroid conversion, guess where it happens? 
in the gut. It happens in the gut. It doesn't even happen. It happens in the gut. And that's the thing. Think of your gut. Think of the walls of your gut like architecture. You ever see those like really old buildings and they're constantly working on them and they'll be updating a really, really old building and they're making it new? Think about it like that. It is it is, it is, is rebuilding the architecture of your gut wall. What a beautiful thought. And that, But that is like quite literally what it's doing to your cells. It's giving them the ability to really rebuild and to strengthen themselves. What a beautiful thought. And not to mention that when you do that, you're blocking out the irritants that can cause bloating and gas and just like pain and, and feeling so uncomfortable. You are giving the body the ability to block that out, which is absolutely incredible, which fortifies your immune system. If it all comes down to nutrients, we want to be absorbing our nutrients. And if we're not doing that because we have a wall that needs to be strengthened. Okay, I get really excited about all this. So this is the last thing I'll say because I'm just so fired up about this. We want to have a strong wall so that we're not, we're, things are not, you know, coming in or leaking out. We want to have a good, strong wall. And that way we're going to be absorbing our nutrients better. Because why? Because if we're protecting ourselves from things that can steal our nutrients, that's one thing. And then second of all, again, you're if you're rebuilding that barrier, you're not letting those nutrients get out. So you're actually able to have better nutrient absorption, which fuels cellular health, which gives the cells the nutrients that they need to be able to make healthy cells, healthy tissues, healthy organs, and the healthy, a healthy organ system, hormones, thyroid, progesterone, estrogen, ovulation, fertility, all these things are fueled by having happy, healthy cells that need to be protected and they need to be nourished. And that is why I love this so much. And it completely changed my life, my gut health, my immunity, my hair. I feel like my hair has even gotten so much longer because that's the thing. You enhance nutrient absorption and the hair is one of those things that's not on the top priority for of the body. You know, your body wants to keep you warm. It wants to regulate your temperature, keep your heart beating. And hey, if it's not getting all those nutrients, it's certainly not gonna have, you know, the nutrients to grow hair. So that's the thing is that we want to provide our bodies with an abundance of nutrients. And the fact that there's over 400 different bioactive nutrients in this is just absolutely astounding. It gives your cells quite literally exactly what they need to be protected and to be nourished. You can go to tryarma.com and get 15% off of your first order. And not to mention, it is my favorite one because the number one thing that I'm looking out for is glyphosate and this is glyphosate free. They test it. This is the most potent bioavailable, sustainably sourced colostrum on the market. It is hands down my favorite. As you can see on my GI map, I just cannot even believe it. It's totally changed my life. So link in the description box. As much as it is about the smoothie, at the same time, it's not about the smoothie. You know, it's not about the smoothie or the thing. It's about you and your body and ultimately your cells being able to do what they do so that you can have the energy to show up for your life. That is my prayer for you, that you would be in good health and that your soul would prosper. Wow, who knew a smoothie could get so deep, but. If you haven't tried the mineral tea yet, this is the time to do it, the springtime, because it's so rich in all the minerals that your body needs, sodium, potassium, magnesium. I just do three tablespoons of nettle, three tablespoons of oat straw, and then three tablespoons of red raspberry leaf, and add nine cups of boiling water, and then you let it sit overnight. You you can totally add honey or whatever you like to sweeten it, but I actually just did it unsweetened this time and it was so good. This is one of those recipes that if you have a hard time eating your fruits and vegetables and just getting enough micronutrients really, this is one of those things that really fills in the gaps because, you know, if you're struggling to do that, obviously, you know, eat your fruits and veggies. I'm just saying this is so nutrient dense. It's been called nature's multi because nettle is so rich in all of these different minerals. This is something that's always in my day-to-day -day meal rotation or when I'm meal prepping, I throw this on because it just takes a couple minutes and it's done and you let it sit overnight and then you, um, strain it. I like to put it just through a, a, like a French press in the morning, a stainless steel French press, and then you're good to go. And I just drink it cold. You can add honey if you want to. This is the perfect thing to sip on during the spring as the weather warms up and to replenish and nourish every single cell of your body. Mineral tea is done. Something that I've been doing that I have been 
absolutely loving is writing down my favorite recipes. And I thought this is so much more fun and so much more enjoyable than having to read off of my phone and having to scroll back and find the recipe. It just made it so much more enjoyable. So I'm gonna show you this lemony arugula pasta salad that is so good and it is absolutely the perfect spring recipe. For the dressing, you're gonna do eight tablespoons of olive oil and then one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. I feel like any vinegar would work, but I just did a white wine vinegar. And then you're gonna do uh, two teaspoons of Dijon. It gives it that nice, creamy texture and then the zest of a lemon and then one whole lemon juiced and then you want to actually chop up one tablespoon of capers it's going to give that also uh, that kind of acidic but also salty component and then chop up six fresh basil leaves and then this pasta is actually green banana pasta that is the only ingredient in it and it was actually absolutely amazing and it is so rich in potassium it's gluten-free and it's a prebiotic so it feels feeds the good bacteria in your gut. And then you're gonna add a lot of arugula. If you wanna be exact, 3.5 ounces of arugula. And then you just wanna add one third cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and that adds calcium and fat soluble vitamins. It's really good. And then I added in six chopped up basil leaves to the top. This was outstanding. This dish is light and refreshing and just, a flavor uh, powerhouse is <laughs> so, so good on its own or with dinner, it's the best. Hey, baby. You look cute. So and that pasta came out really well, too. Came out fantastic. Oh, it's just so good. And the Parmesan and the fact that it's a prebiotic, there's so much potassium in there. It's crazy. Am I supposed to eat like only a limited amount of pasta? No. You're good. And I love that pasta. Kiss the cook. Good job. Thanks, honey. That was awesome. So excited to make this dessert. This is pretty much the cutest dessert of all time. You want a whole bag of freeze dried strawberries and then you want to blend it up into a powder. And then you're just going to add two jars of the coconut milk, but you just want the coconut cream. So just take the cream out, put it into a large mixing bowl, and then you're, yeah, I spilled it everywhere. So don't, don't do what I did. And then you're going to actually add in the freeze dried strawberry powder that you just made with a tablespoon of maple syrup and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're going to whip it up and then let it cool in the fridge for a little bit, like let it chill. And it is so good. Okay, it's the next day and this dessert is so delicious. It is so much fun, it's so unique. And I ended up doing, so we had this last night for dessert, but this these are the Pamela's Honey Grams. They're gluten-free, they're made with real honey and molasses. I love the ingredients on them. If you're looking for yummy gluten-free graham crackers, these are so good. I love Pamela's. And we ended up doing a little bit of the graham crackers with the, I guess it would be like a strawberry mousse. Because this coconut cream doesn't have thickener, there is like a little bit, it, you can't, it, it's not, I don't know, it's only, a, it's only an appearance thing. It's not like a texture thing or a taste thing, but it just, it's not fully, I don't know, I guess cohesive or perfectly smoothly whipped, but it is so good. It is thick, it is decadent, but it's light and it's not too heavy. And it's so yummy and bright with the strawberry flavor. It is so fun. This is such a fun dessert. And I just love how it tastes with the graham crackers. Like as interesting as that might be, it is so good. These like little strawberry, you can make like a little strawberry graham cracker sandwich. Let me show you how cute even serving it like this. Look at this, it's like a little pink strawberry sandwich. Let's have a taste. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Mmm, this is so, so good. It's so good and delicious for spring. 10 out of 10. It just is so unique and fun. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen. I hope that you absolutely love these recipes. Definitely make the dessert. The pasta is amazing and I'm gonna be having the celery juice and you know I'm always doing my mineral tea, but even the celery juice as something, I, I know it's not really like a recipe, but I was reading about it and getting so just fascinated by how amazing, because that Trader Joe's, buying that Trader Joe's celery really just inspired me. 
because I was like, this is so rich in potassium and sodium and vitamin K. It is amazing how nutrient dense celery is. And so ugh, I just, I, I'm kind of hooked on it. So I'm going to try to keep it stocked in my fridge and just have it to sip on throughout the day because it's so hydrating and I, I love it. It's vibrant. It's bright. It's fresh. Oh, it's just like everything that your body needs so very fun and I love spending time in the kitchen with you So don't forget to check out you can go to tryarmor.com slash cambria and get 15% off of your first order and make healthy cells to make healthy tissues To make healthy organ systems to make or healthy organs. Am I forgetting this is levels of organization make healthy cells <laughs> Give them protection and nourishment. That's really what it does. So link in the description box. I love you so very much I am so happy that it's spring. I'm planting flowers in my backyard and I kind of want to make an herb, 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 herb garden. I'm getting into my little mini garden era because I'm just, I'm getting very excited in the backyard, planting cute pink flowers. We got our palm trees. We're making it so cute and beautiful back there. Bo's making a little planter box. He converted one of our, uh, it was my old, like, uh, it was like, like a chest. It was actually our old uh, coffee table before he built ours. But anyway, he converted it into a little planter box. So I'm really excited. We're going to plant some beautiful flowers and I just cannot wait to hang out with you for the rest of spring. It really does feel like a fresh start and there is so much goodness to come. So I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Go try these recipes and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you.